It is natural for one to develop a facade to influence how people perceive us. Some project an image of perfection to mask their basic insecurities. Others don't have the luxury of worrying about first impressions. And some people find their best intentions often backfire. Yes, we all veil our truths, but how we leave an impression is what defines us. Glad to see you finally made it. So, now that you're here, we need to talk. Whatever. We're here now, we'll talk now. So, I've been piecing together the evidence. There was a lot going on the night Daniel died. The Solises, the Scavos, the Vandy Camps, even your son was out that night. One thing we know for certain is that two people were up to committing murder.
Sure, we have some evidence, but we're not done yet. No, we can't do that. We don't know what could happen. Possibly. You don't realize how deep this goes. I thought I could get away from them. I thought if I moved and kept to myself, they'd never find me. I mean, I couldn't even find Fairview on a map. How the hell did they find me? I know. It's all my fault. I should have told him. I think now's the time we do something. But I don't know where to start. There's still one thing that's bothering me. How did that Leo guy know Vincent Corsetti, of all people? It doesn't add up. You've been holding out on me? It was convenient timing when he showed up, wasn't it? Just when things started to get fishy. All right then, it's up to me to make the next move. We'll find out soon enough. Most people's lives are driven by fear. Fear of hidden dangers. Fear of secrets being discovered. Or fear of the unknown. But sometimes, what we think may be a demon lurking in the shadows, turns out to be Merely our guardian angel in disguise. There are people who spend a lifetime earning the respect and admiration of their peers and neighbors.
it can all be for naught. When one's decency is called into question. Did you honestly believe you would get away with this? Get away with what? Don't play games with me, young man. You know exactly what I mean. Uh, no, I don't. Mom, can you help me out here? Perhaps you've seen those little flyers about Danielle that have been appearing around the neighborhood. I think your son is to blame. Yes, I have one right here. See for yourself. It's obvious he's trying to get revenge on our family. Poor delusional boy thought he was good enough for my Danielle. I don't know what to think. All I know is Danielle is spreading vicious rumors about Julie at school. As soon as Julie told me, I came over here. We may not agree who the culprit is, but we both agree that this whole issue started because of your son's actions. I'm just here for moral support for my two favorite girls. Everyone's dancing around the subject, but the one thing we know is that your son has ruined our girls' lives. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. I'll calm down if you teach your damn son some manners. Yeah! That sounds reasonable. Works for me. Yes, I suppose that will suffice. If your son is innocent. There you are. Your son has been sending me some terrible emails. Let's just say they involve a lot of derogatory terms. Not the kind of words you find on the SATs. There you go. What more proof do you need that your son is a little criminal? I told you I had nothing to do with it. So that's it. He tells you he didn't do it, and you believe him. All right, fine. I'll give you a chance to prove your son's innocence. For the record, I think he's guilty as hell. Come on, Carl. Let's let her deal with her son. Sure thing, Susie Q. Okay, just keep in mind, they were very nasty little emails. If he did this, something has to be done. 
Thanks for getting rid of them, Mom. Hey, this is Vincent. I was just calling to check in on you. Really? Do you need some help with anything? And how are things between you and your husband? I hate to ask, but I heard some stories. About some greedy secretary that was trying to blackmail him or something. Well, you know how these stories get around. Fairview is a small town. Did you ever find out what was in his safe? I happen to know there is some very important information in that safe. Things you need to see. Listen, we shouldn't talk about this over the phone. I'm sending a package over to your house later. Make sure your husband's not around when you open it. I have to go now, but rest assured I have your best interests at heart. I gotta go. Hello. Can I ask your advice on something? I'm wondering if enough time has gone by since Mary Alice's passing to see other people. I don't want to appear improper. Mary Alice could never be replaced. I understand that. Maybe I should go now.
Hello, can I help you with something? What exactly is the problem? Ah, oh, so some new pest is attacking your garden, eh? Well, why should I help you? Ha, <laughs> that's a good one. I'll help you out just for making this old lady smile. Follow me. Let's pick your poison. Well, you didn't give me much choice, did you? Ah, here we are. Uh, let me find you the right poison. Ooh, there are so many good ones to choose from. What are you talking about? Oh, that? Well, let's just say insects aren't the only pests I worry about. Poison is poison. Enough of it will kill whatever is bothering you. Never mind. Here's the bug spray you wanted. Be sure to give it back to me when you're done.
But wait, there's more! <laughs> I've got a moment. What's new? Well, did you take care of those bugs? Oh, that's good. So, what do you want now? Blech! Why are you bringing me a dead bug? Well, let me get a closer look here. Well, huh, you certainly are an ugly little thing, aren't you? I can't tell you much, but I can tell you I've never seen anything like this in my garden before. Although I do recall seeing a warning about them online. Hmm. Right next to an advertisement to buy the very same bug. Pretty much just keep out of garden. They're hungry little beasts that ruin anything you've planted. That's all that matters. Well, 
maybe if you're a bug collector or you're trying to sabotage someone else's garden. Oh, don't be stupid. There would be a good chance that these things would spread to my garden. I wouldn't risk that. No. The person who introduced these little fellas is clearly not a fan of botany. Or at least they don't have a garden of their own. You certainly have a way of making enemies. I think the company was called Pestport. You know, come to think of it, I think I remember seeing the Pestport logo somewhere. I was out here gardening as usual. Hmm, it was sometime in the early afternoon. Oh, that's right. I saw the mailman with a package that had the logo on it. Maybe if you ask him about it, you can figure out who ordered those bugs. The sooner you can stop the person, the better. If the bugs start to multiply, there's a chance my garden will get infested. Can I help you? What did he do now? Well, if you have access to Allison's account and can send me the emails, I could trace its original IP address back for you. Or if you had access to your son's account, you could check his bandwidth for local activity. Are you sure your son didn't do it? 
Well, if he's innocent, then someone would have to have had access to his account. No one around here has the technical expertise to hack into his account. So whoever sent the emails must know your son's password. Talk to him and find out if he's given his password to any friends. Okay, goodbye. Hey, can I help you with something? I'd definitely like to find out who did this to the posters. It's criminal. Honestly, I don't really care about whatever's going on with the Vandy camps. But for someone to do this kind of vicious thing and destroy flyers put up by some poor soul looking for their lost dog. It just makes me mad. It makes me lose faith in people. Sure, I have my suspicions, but I can't really imagine that they'd do this. Well, I hate to say it, but do you think it could be Mrs. Davenport? I've overheard her making some obnoxious comments about Danielle's social life. And now that I think about it, vandalizing missing animal flyers sounds right up her alley. The woman's nuts. Every time I walk past her house, she gives Bongo the evil eye. And not just Bongo. Cats, dogs, rabbits, even squirrels. She freaks out at the sight of them. If anything seems like a threat to her precious garden, she takes it personally. Come to think of it, I haven't seen too many of those animals around recently. Probably nothing. You know what they say about animals and their instincts. They're probably smart enough to stay away from her. I mean, come on. She's just a cranky old lady. She wouldn't hurt a fly. See ya.